Phuket is arguably Thailand's most famous island. Surrounded by gorgeous beaches, incredible food, boat adventures, just to name a few, you can easily see why travellers from all over the world flock to Phuket. From day to night, Phuket is a 24-7 entertainment destination with some of the best resorts in the country to relax in. After four weeks exploring the beauty of Phuket, we're going to show you some of our favourite activities in this tropical paradise. Let's take a look at the best things to do here in Phuket. I am an absolute sucker for a water park or a beach club. If it had slides and cocktails, I'm there. One place we thoroughly enjoyed was Blue Tree. Entry is only 650 Thai baht, and that includes access to everything. It includes access to the slides, to the zip line, to the Ninja Warrior course, to the lagoon, to the paddle boards. They also have an awesome restaurant by the lagoon. It honestly feels like the most epic beach club I have ever been to. Because of the massive size of the lagoon, it doesn't feel as cramped as a typical beach club. You can relax in the sun and peace. They have a couple of restaurants at different price points, so you can fill up your tummy with delicious food on any budget. Blue Tree is definitely one of the most underrated attractions here in Phuket. No trip to Thailand is ever complete without seeing an elephant or two. There is nothing more magical than watching these gentle giants roam freely about. It is a memory that we will always treasure. At these elephant sanctuaries, you get to learn about the elephants. You also get to learn about each individual elephant and how they ended up in the sanctuary. You learn about how they care for them and about their diet, and you even get the chance to feed them, walk with them, and if you're game enough, swim with them. Elephant sanctuaries rescue their elephants from unethical tourism, circuses, riding camps and logging to give them a better life. Please be extremely careful in choosing an elephant sanctuary. Some places claim to be ethical but they still mistreat the animals. I highly recommend doing your own research online prior to choosing an elephant sanctuary. You cannot visit Phuket without immersing yourself in a little bit of culture. The Big Buddha statue is one of the most important landmarks on the island. It stands 45 meters high and offers incredible views over Phuket. As Big Buddha is a religious site, ladies remember to cover those shoulders and knees. Our travel tip is to arrive early as it will be very quiet and you can get some awesome pictures on the staircase with little to no people. Entry is free, but they do rely heavily on public donations. We recommend donating if you've got a bit of extra cash to spare. In Thailand, markets are absolutely everywhere. They are a big part of the country's identity. It is just something that you cannot miss out on. They are so enticing, from mouth-watering cheap eats to marvellous live entertainment and bizarre knickknacks. Wandering through and around the markets of Phuket will always be a favourite of ours. The fresh food at the markets is one of the biggest draw cards, with food prices ranging from as little as 10 baht to 100 baht. With these budget-friendly prices on offer, it's easy to see why so many locals and tourists visit the markets daily. We recently did a video on the best markets to visit in Phuket. If you're unsure about which market to visit, make sure you check that video out. We'll leave a link in the description below. The main draw card of Phuket is the beaches. There are endless sandy beaches within such a short drive. Due to the lack of tourists, we found the beaches to be extremely clean and the water to be incredibly clear. 
Our travel tip is to travel outside of the more tourist areas such as Patong Beach and go to a more isolated beach to watch the sunset. The beaches on the west side of the island offer the best conditions with clear waters and golden sand. Our favourite beaches were Karong Beach and Naihan Beach, both of which are on the western side. We loved Karom Beach because the water was just gorgeous to go swimming in and it was also very quiet. We liked Naihan Beach because it had such a cool vibe to it and they had lots of cool little restaurants along the waterfront. If Phuket's beaches aren't your style, grab a ride and head to the jungle where you can fly through the forest at Thailand's longest zipline adventure. At Honeymoon World, they offer a range of activities depending on your level of thrill seeking. They offer zip lining, abseiling and even a skywalk through the jungle. After a busy day gliding through the forest, they also have an awesome treetop restaurant next door where you can pop your feet up, have a cocktail and a bite to eat. The crystal clear waters that encompass the island means that there is ample opportunity to jump on one of the thousands of boats to explore. Boat tours are one of the most popular activities as there is something for everyone from diving to snorkeling to nature walks, partying, relaxing in the sun, I mean the list goes on. There is a boat tour for everything. A simple Google search is the easiest way to find the exact tour that you want. Or feel free to go down to one of the piers and talk to a local boat driver. You can often hire them for the day. Prices for boat tours are cheaper if you join a group tour or you can opt for your own private experience, just be prepared to pay a little bit more. Phuket is renowned for its crazy nightlife, red light districts and party streets, where you can dance until the sun comes up. But if that's not quite your speed, Phuket also offers a range of phenomenal bars and beach clubs where you can relax, watch the sunset go down while enjoying exceptional cocktails. Phuket is surrounded by over 30 picturesque islands and it would be such a shame to not at least visit one of them. There is a huge selection of day trips to many different islands, just take your pick. Two popular islands to explore are the Phi Phi Islands and the Similan Islands. With the PP Islands, you have the option to stay on Koh Phi Phi Dong, which has hotels, restaurants, bars, and a vibrant village. From there, you can jump on a long tail boat and explore the surrounding islands, such as the infamous Maya Bay. Similan Islands was one of our favorite places. It offers some of the best diving sites in the world because it is so remote and so untouched. We loved the Similan Islands so much that we created an entire video on this unbelievable experience. We'll leave a link in the description below if you would like to check out that video. As you travel between the different areas of Phuket, you'll realize that it can be quite hilly. The upside to this is that there are so many spectacular viewpoints which offer breathtaking views of the island. Being a photographer and a videographer, we are absolute suckers for a gorgeous shot and Phuket has plenty to offer. If you have time, we recommend checking out one of the many viewpoints. Black Rock Viewpoint was one of our favourite viewpoints. It is challenging to access, but you are rewarded with only having to share the spot with a few other people. I hope this has given you some ideas for when you plan your dream trip to Phuket. Let us know in the comments if there's anything else you'd recommend when visiting the island. We'd love to know. So don't sleep on that subscribe button, hit that bell and say hi to us in the next video.